Welcome to the Just As We Are podcast. I'm Katrina Lelly, certified life coach, aspiring author, lover of people, mama in recovery, and student of life. Each week, I will bring you love, inspiration, the real life stuff people are afraid to talk about, and guests who are willing to shine their light for you. I give you self-care practices and mindset tips to help you shatter the negative stories you tell yourself. Now is the time to step into the beautiful, loved, whole woman you already are. Let's walk this journey together. Hello, thank you so much for coming back and tuning in to another uh, episode with me. And I really want to take a minute to thank all of you who take time out of your day to tune in and listen to uh, my podcast and what I share and what I have to say. And um, it really, truly means so much to me. And for sharing with your friends and family, that's how I know that what I'm doing is important and what I share needs to be heard. If it's touching you or friends or family of yours, that's, you know, even if I'm able to reach just one person, that makes all the difference in the world. And it is so important to know that we're not alone in the things that we have experienced, in the thoughts that go through our heads, um, and the things that we feel. That is one of, I think, most the most important things that um, we can do for one another is open up our hearts, open up our minds, and share our experiences with each other. Because I know there have been countless times where I have felt like there is no way anybody would ever understand what I'm going through or what I'm thinking. And I know that's just, it's really kind of just silly thoughts because there are over 7 billion people on the planet and I'm, there's at least one person out there who has had something similar happen. And I know that from experience with being in the rooms of Alcoholics Anonymous in the meetings, we all share similar experiences, different experiences, and we have one common problem that we have a solution to. And we all know what it's like to feel that desperate, hopeless feeling that many of us come into the rooms feeling. And once we open our mouths and share, we realize we're not so different after all. Uh, so this morning I heard something or I read something about um, that really just clicked with me and I wanted to jump on and I wanted to share it with you guys and hope that it provides some value to you the way that it does for, for me. And you know, it's so funny how we can hear things or um, read things or experience things or, you know, just in conversation with people about where we're at in life or what we're trying to do, or they can, you know, be sharing their wisdom on us and we hear it and we're like, yeah, okay. And we hear it again and from somebody else. Yeah, okay. But until we're really ready and open, that thing could have been shared with us 20 different times from 10 different people. And it didn't, it doesn't really, you know, hit anything for us. And then we can open it and we can hear it again. We're, we're in the right place. We have to be in the right place with the open mind and the open mind to, um, an open heart and open mind to really just kind of take in what it is we need. And until we're in that place, that one piece of information isn't really going to affect us. But this morning I read, um, out of a book I've been reading, out of a prayer, 40 day prayer book I've been reading. This is the part that stuck, stood out to me. When God doesn't change our circumstances, he is trying to change us. When God doesn't change our circumstances, it's because he is trying to change us. Now sit with that for a moment. Honestly, that just kind of gives me goosebumps reading that again. And I read it this morning and um, just saying it and reading it again gives me goosebumps. I'm going to share it one more time. When God doesn't change our circumstances, he is trying to change us. You know, I've never thought about it that way. I have probably been told this. I'm, in fact, I can guarantee you that I've been told this exact thing in one way or another. But for some reason, this morning is when it hit. When God doesn't change our circumstances, he is trying to change us. And 
I can think about so many instances where I have prayed to God for him to change what is going on in my life. Please, God, make this stop. Make this happen. Make this go away. Bring this into my life. I have prayed those prayers so many different times in my life and have thought, well, nothing's happening. So apparently I'm just supposed to suffer. Apparently this is just the way it is. Please, God, just make this situation better. Make this thing better. And for me this morning, it it hit because I'm thinking about um, an area of my life where I'm choosing to step into and choosing to grow. And I'm it's a, it's a place that I've had a block for so long. And I've known I have had a block for so long. And I've, I've been praying about just make this better. Just, you know, looking at the outside issue and wanting God to fix this outside issue and just to like magically drop a solution on me. Magically drop this from the air make it better or pull away these other things that make it feel uncomfortable and stress me out and have me worry and have me in angst. And then this comes along and it's, he is trying to change us. Huh, really? So maybe, perhaps, this situation has not changed because he is trying to change me. He is trying to help me grow into the person that I deserve to be, that I know that I already am, so that I can better the situation. So that I can grow into the woman that is able to change the situation myself or make the situation different or create something different to come up with a solution. God is trying to change me. He's not going to change the situation for me. To be quite honest, he's at, he comes through, he has come through in so many different ways and so many different times. And I have not been grateful enough for that. I have not given thanks to him enough for that. And so I give him thanks right now in here because I give him thanks for always providing a solution to a temporary problem. However, this temporary problem is not really temporary. I mean, it has temporary moments, but it's a, there's a bigger issue. There's an outline problem to it. And I never thought about it that way, that he's trying to change me and mold me. And I have just been freaking turning my cold shoulder to him, looking a different way, thinking, you know, if only he would provide this rather than, you know, I am going to choose to do this today. I am going to choose to do this action today. I am going to choose to step into this type of woman today. Or I choose to let this go. And in that form, some action comes from that. And I grow into the woman that he already knows that I am. That innately, I already know that I am. So when God doesn't change our circumstances, he is trying to change us. It hit me so hard. And so where in your life have you been asking God to take this away, to change this, to do something different, you know, reaching out, putting your hands out, putting your fingers out, like this outside deal is what needs to change. When in fact, if you, if you pull it back in and you take a look, is it me? Am I the one that needs to change here? Am I the one that gets to grow and to do things differently? Can any of you relate to that? Can any of you, or any of you all of a sudden go, oh, I see now, or I get it now. How can God provide me something if I'm not willing to step into the person that it requires me to be to take it on? If I can't do these extra little things, then why would God give me these other things? Why would God provide these things to me if I'm not willing to step into these things? If I'm not willing to choose to grow myself, he, for me, I believe 110% that he is always dropping little hints. He's always dropping little golden nuggets to, to kind of 
to kind of give me a little push towards a certain direction or just give me a little, he brings little, little golden nuggets into my life. And oftentimes I am so damn blind. I don't see them because I am so focused on worry and angst and anger and being stressed. And, you know, this isn't working the way that I want it to, or I'm so laser focused on another problem over here, or there's drama going on, or there's other things that are going on and taking my attention, one, away from him, and two, away from his golden little nuggets that he's dropping into my life, where he's nudging me, Katrina, do this, Katrina, do that, Katrina, go this way. These are the things, do this, show up. Do this podcast. And if nobody listens, who cares? But do it. Write. Go write. Go write. Go talk to this person. Smile at the person you're walking down the road. I know all of that kind of seems like, well, what is smiling that somebody walking down the road is going to do? But trust me, it changes your energy level. It changes that person's energy level. And that energy goes out and you never know how it comes back. But I just found that that little line in this book that I was reading, when God doesn't change our circumstances, he is trying to change us. And what an empowering thought. Wow. Wow. He is giving me the gold. He is giving me the opportunity to grow into the woman he knows I already am. And if I really dig down deep, the woman I already know I am. When I set aside the fears, when I set aside the shame, when I set aside the guilt, when I set aside the worry, the stress, and I take a moment and I sink in and I listen and I pray and I journal and I just sink in, I know that I already am the woman that God knows. He sees me. He sees me. And he is trying to help me grow and change. And I've been in resistance to that. Can you relate to that at all? Can you you see any area of your life that God is trying to change you? Not the circumstance. Because guess what? When you change, that circumstance will change. When you're willing to grow, that circumstance will change. Either your mindset changes around it, the circumstance itself changes around it, or both change around it. Something will be different. Something will be different. And it's my belief it will be way better than you could ever imagine. If I think back to when I was first getting sober, I wanted everybody else to change. I wanted things to change. I didn't realize that it was me that needed to change. I did, okay, I did realize, but I knew I didn't realize to the depth because I felt so much shame around who I was and that there was something wrong with me. And I've chased something outside of me to make me feel better. If this circumstance was better, if only I had more friends, if only I had more money, if only I was married, if only I had kids, if only I grew up with parents who weren't divorced, if only I had a dad who was around more, if only I had a mom who was an alcoholic, if only I had a house, if only I had, if only, if only, only these outside things were different. But now, reading this and looking back, I see God was working on me and changing me. And he has changed me immensely. He has changed me immensely through the opportunities that he has given me to walk through and to grow through. That's how he works. So why can't he do this in this other circumstance that I've been so worried and so angst around? Why can't he change you and grow you through this other circumstance that you've been trying to pray away and it stayed the same? What are you in resistance to? What are you not willing to face? What woman are you not willing to step into? What man are you not willing to step into that God already knows you are? He has already given you those gifts that you wish you had. They're in there. 
You just got to uncover them and discover. That's what will take you out. That's what will take you out and, and take you to a different way of being, a different way of seeing. And with that, your circumstance will change because of the power that God has given you. I hope that provided some value to you today. Thanks for listening.